Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today's topic is as follows. What is the FDA issue with adipose stem cell therapy? So you may have heard the FDA filed an injunction this year against a network of stem cell centers that use adipose, which is the medical term for fat. Why did they do that? Well, without going into the names of the centers um, or specific locations or whatnot, I just want to tell you what the FDA did and why they did it, okay? In this country, adipose stem cell therapy is done by two methods. The one that the FDA was fine with, and still is, involves taking adipose out of the belly or the buttock, processing it in the room without adding significant enzymes or additives, and then putting it into your knee or hip or so on and so forth, okay? That is called minimal manipulation. The FDA is fine with that. And the issue with it though, is that most of those cells, the stem cells and other regenerative cells, die from that procedure within about 48 hours. They're used to getting a lot of oxygen. Once they're taken out and then put into your knee or whatnot, they don't get it. So most of them die, okay? Now, so what most practitioners would do with the adipose is they would add enzymes and other additives in a procedure called stromal vascular fraction, SVF, which would make it so that those cells didn't need all that oxygen. So they could then be put into your knee or your hip or your spine uh, joints and then you, you know, they would survive much better. The problem with the FDA with that is they said, okay, you're taking a biologic, you're adding these enzymes and you're changing the structure, the biologic structure of that tissue. So therefore you're turning it from a biologic into a drug which is regulated totally different, and you can't do that. It went from minimal manipulation to what they call maximal manipulation, which is not allowed in the United States. So the FDA had been warning practices about that, and finally they filed an injunction against over 100 of them because they were taking tissue and, according to the FDA regulations, turning a biologic into a drug, which is not allowed. You can go overseas or out of the country to get that procedure. You know, most other countries don't have FDA regulations. There are a couple issues with that. One is it's really expensive, all right? And the second issue is that no data from those centers has ever been shown to have better outcomes than what R3 centers or any other centers using um, really good amniotic and umbilical tissue uh, can obtain. And the third thing is, we don't have an FDA in uh, Panama or these other countries. So how do you really know that they're adhering to uh, ethical and safety standards that you should expect rightfully if anything that's being done to you, okay? So those are multiple things to consider and why the FDA has done what they've done when it comes to adipose therapy. Visit us online at r3stemcell.com. We have over 30 centers of excellence nationwide, predominantly using amniotic and umbilical tissue for regenerative procedures. Um, there's a physician locator on there, but there's also, uh, simply call us at 844-GET-STEM and we'll get you in with the center closest to you. All of our centers offer a free consultation, whether it's in person or over the phone along with an imaging review. Thank you for watching.